Behind the scenes, behind the lines, inside the stories others won't tell. The Morning Insiders. A Northside alderman is fed up with the city's 311 system and he's introducing a new law to improve it. He wants more accurate response times, more transparency from the city, and some better communication. All are issues that Morning Insider Tim McNicholas has reported on for more than a year now. This is not just a bump in the road. It's 10 months of frustration for neighbors on this Andersonville block. It's very frustrating. It's Robert Garcia even blames it for a hit and run crash on an icy night last winter. I'm guessing they they were driving pretty fast, hit the pothole, and then somebody slammed their car into my car. So you're just seeing your vehicle just hit. Alderman Andre Vasquez sent us 311 requests, painting a confusing picture of the problem. Some of the requests are still open, but some have been marked completed with notes like no construction issue found, or just last month, no potholes found. That's because the resident marked it as a pothole complaint, but in the city's eyes, it's not a pothole. They close that ticket and say this is a utility cut. We need to have somebody else check this out. But your average neighbor gets none of that information. All they see is a closed ticket and they go, well, what did I put it in for in the first place? From piles of trash to abandoned cars to other bumpy roads, in the past two years, we found requests all over the city mark completed when the job wasn't actually done. When you all do reporting to make this the forefront of the conversation, it puts more impetus on us as government to try to solve those problems. Now the alderman has introduced an ordinance aimed at eliminating confusion. Alderman Vasquez says communication is key. He wants the city to update 311 requests online to show every step they've taken and every step they will take to get the job done. All that information is available. It's just about getting our systems and software, which your tax dollars pay for, to actually deliver that information to you. He also says that software can calculate a more accurate estimated completion time so residents have realistic expectations. And it can allow city workers to post before and after photos to the public to show they finished the job, something the city of San Diego is already doing. We've got the software to be able to do that. Alderman Vasquez filed the ordinance last week. He's hoping it moves along smoothly. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. A 311 spokesperson says the city is already working closely with the aldermen to improve the system. They're also working on a plan to add that photo feature. You can see their full statement at CBSChicago.com and find it on our app. Look for the section called Morning Insiders.